opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. In the Karokan defense, c6 supports a quick d7-d5 pawn push to control the center and challenge the e4 pawn. d4 grabs control of the center and attacks the e5 and c5 squares. d5 controls the center and attacks the e4 pawn. And c3 protects the e4 pawn and attacks the d5 pawn. dx e4 opens up the center and plans to meet nx e4 with either bf5 or nf6, challenging the knight. Nx e4 recaptures with the knight in the center of the board where it controls many important squares. Bf5 develops the bishop and attacks the knight on e4, black can play e7 e6 next, without trapping the light squared bishop on c8. Ng3 attacks the bishop on f5 and controls the e4 square. Bg6 retreats the attacked bishop, but keeps it on the active diagonal where it controls both the e4 and d3 squares. H4 takes space on the king side and threatens H5 H6, which would win black's light squared bishop. H6 opens up the H7 square for the bishop to retreat to, and also stops white from placing a piece on the G5 square. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center, protects the D4 pawn and controls the E5 square. Nd7 develops the knight and controls the E5 square. H5 takes space on the king side and attacks the bishop on g6. Bh7 retreats the bishop and keeps it on the active diagonal. Bd3 develops the bishop and seeks to exchange black's active bishop. Bxd3 captures the bishop on d3 before white can capture on h7. Qxd3 captures the bishop and develops the queen to a central square where it controls e4 and c4. E6 controls the d5 and f5 squares and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. Bd2 develops the bishop, controls the a5 square and prepares queenside castling. Ngf6 develops the knight toward the center and controls the e4 and d5 squares. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. The rooks can see each other now allowing them to provide mutual defense. Castling develops a rook, while also getting the king to safety. By castling to the opposite side of the board as the opponent, the game will tend to be more double-edged. It is the last book move. One of the best moves. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is a mistake. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. It is excellent. This misses an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is an inaccuracy. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a great but hard to find move. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a bishop. It is a mistake. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. Black had an advantage, but now the game is close to equal. It is an inaccuracy. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is good.